Well, we're learning more every day about the historic heat wave last week and the horrific toll it took on Oregonians. The total death toll is now up to 116 people, 70 of those here uh, in the Multnomah County area. Fox 12's Simon Gutierrez is learning more about the circumstances surrounding some of those deaths. We now know that three of the deaths are people who lived in affordable housing. Two of them in high rises, all the properties managed by the organization Home Forward. According to Home Forward, all three people who died had either caregivers, staff, or friends check in with them before their deaths. In the first case, we have a sense of the time frame because a welfare check was done for the person on Monday the 26th and they were found to be alive and said that they were okay. Home Forward Executive Director Michael Bonacor says that person was then found dead the next morning after an alarm was activated in their apartment and someone went to check on them. Based on unofficial information from the responders, we believe the death was heat related. Two more people in Home Forward properties were found dead after the triple digit temperatures had passed. We don't know if either of these deaths was caused by heat, if it exacerbated other conditions, or if there was another cause. The county is still gathering and confirming information about other deaths related to the heat wave, including in the houseless population. The Joint Office of Homeless Services did extensive outreach prior to and during the heat wave. We had people going down the riverbanks, we had people in Forest Park, we had people in Thousand Acres, up in Delta Park, St. John's, the Central East Side, downtown. It was a pretty overwhelming response. As for Home Forward, Executive Director Bonacor says only one of its buildings has central air conditioning. Residents in other buildings can request an AC unit be installed as a reasonable accommodation, but Bonacor says there's no account of what apartments have air conditioning and which don't. We now know this is something we want to be proactively prepared for and think about, you know, what is the number that we want to have on hand. Home Forward is waiting to hear from Multnomah County as to whether the two people who died after the worst of the heat wave was over, whether their deaths are in fact heat related. The organization says it will not be releasing the names of the deceased out of respect for the privacy of their families. Reporting in Northeast Portland, Simon Gutierrez, Fox 12 Oregon.